in 2013, that's about two years ago, I had a friend in his final year at medical school. He was passionate, he was jolly, he was everything a good friend can be. And towards the end of his course, he lost his life. Jonathan had a dream of completing his degree, using his medical skills to help people just like him. And Jonathan had battled sickle cell for all his life up to when he lost the battle. As a student of software engineering, I believe that using my technology skills, I can be able to create positive impact in my community. This compelled me to form a team called Afrigal Tech. On Jonathan's passing, we thought, as technologists, is there a way we can find a solution to this? We were not doctors, but at least we knew how to create solutions using something we were passionate about, and that's technology. We embarked on a tremendous journey of doing intensive research about sickle cell. What causes it? Can I avoid it? And if I have it, how do I manage to live? This saw us walking to Mulago Hospital and finding out about the sickle cell center. We interacted with the doctors and we also interacted with some of the patients. We actually found out that over 30,000 babies are born with sickle cell disease in Uganda each year. And of these, 80% die before the age of two years. We found out that sickle cell can actually be prevented. But how could this be done? And why, why wasn't it being prevented? In Uganda, I, feel, I, I believe few of us seated here really have an idea of what sickle cell is exactly. You may have heard about someone who has suffered from sickle cell. Some may be fortunate enough to have lost someone they know to sickle cell. But a number of people do not really know what sickle cell is. When we interacted with the doctors and some of the sickle cell associations in the country, we found out that the major factor contributing to these high rates of morbidity is lack or limited access to diagnostic services. When I mean diagnostic, um, I'm talking about what you can use to find out if you have sickle cell or not. Normally, our blood cells are supposed to be round, just like the very first cell. And being round, this enables your red blood cells to carry oxygen to different parts of your body. When the cells change shape, your normal cells cannot easily move through your vein to wherever they are supposed to go in order to carry oxygen there. Because these sequent cells cannot move, so they tend to stick to the walls of the blood veins and they block the normal cells from doing what they're supposed to do. What, what the result is, when oxygen doesn't reach where it's supposed to reach, you get pain. Many of us have been seated in a given position and when you try to stand up, you feel like you can't feel your leg. And usually we try to do something like this. Now imagine having that experience in, in your hands, in both of your hands, then in your legs and probably some part of your back. This is what sometimes happens to people with sickle cell, when the cells, when the normal blood cells can't be able to carry oxygen to wherever it's supposed to be. On further interaction with the doctors, we found out that if you know your sickle cell status, you can be able to prevent your child from having sickle cell. We may be wondering, how does sickle cell come about? Sickle cell is inherited. 
you do not catch sickle cell from a neighbor or from dirty water or something like that. A child gets to have sickle cell if each of the parents had a, was carrying a sickle cell gene. So when you have, when you're carrying the sickle cell gene, there is a one out of four possibility of you having a child with sickle cell. Do not forget that there's also a possibility of having all your four children with sickle cell. So if you know your sickle cell status, you have an option of not transferring it to your child by looking for a partner who does not carry the sickle cell gene. But how will you know that if you do not know your status? Very many people in our country find out after their first child. And unfortunately, there's not very much information out there about the existence of sickle cell. Very many people out there in the villages think it's witchcraft because this is what happens. The child can go to bed when they're fine and when they wake up in the morning, they're sick. They can just collapse out of nowhere. Too much stress makes them sick. When it's too cold, they fall sick. When it's too hot and they're not well dehydrated, they fall sick. So parents who are not exposed will say, they are bewitching my child. Some parents will think he doesn't want to go to school because whenever I wake them up, they're claiming they're sick. Mommy, my joints. Some children usually have something you can see to know if there is a serious medical problem. Some people have yellow eyes. Some children have stunted growth. They do not grow up at the rate the edgements are growing. This may be an eye opener. But unfortunately, even some of our doctors do not have enough information about sickle cell. On one of my interactions with the Sickle Cell Association of Uganda, they met a lady from Fort Potro. She had one doctor for her child, and this doctor had been treating the son for nine years. But for all those years, the doctor had never told the mother that the boy had sickle cell. As technologists, as people who are passionate about technology, we decided that we can bring an end, we can take a step in helping change the world. We can take a step in creating a sickle cell free generation. And how can we do this? After finding out that limited access, there's limited access to diagnostic services, we decided to come up with a solution and the solution is MDEX. So as a Figal Tech, we analyzed our community and we found out that leading challenges. Why don't we have diagnostic services everywhere? One, in carrying out a sickle cell screen test, you need a microscope. They're a bit expensive and some of them use electricity. In our country, electricity can be a very big problem, most especially in the rural areas. Two, you need a blood expert, someone who's, not all doctors can carry out the sickle cell test. So what we decided to do was to create a solution, a diagnosis tool that is simple, fast, and inexpensive. We believe that our country may not be able to have enough doctors to go out to the rural communities to carry out sickle cell screening we decided to put the blood expert on our phone with our solution. And this is how it works. A person intending to, have, to carry out a sickle cell test walks to the doctor. Initially, you had to go to a hospital. This hospital is supposed to be having sickle cell screening facilities and a blood expert to carry out the test and they take your blood sample, then you wait for a number of days, depending on where you've gone. You wait for a number of days to have your results. Now imagine you traveled from Kabale to Kampala to have the tests. So what we did was, when you come into a hospital now, um, I'd forgotten to mention something, a solution can be used by any medical personnel. As long as they have a medical background, they can be able to use it. So when the patient walks into a hospital, the doctor takes a drop of blood, just one drop from the finger. They prepare a blood slide. 
And just like how it happens in a normal hospital, they take their patient details, their name, their age, their gender, their contacts. And while that, that is happening, a reagent has been added to the slide. And 20, between 20 to 30 minutes, a picture of the slide is taken using your mobile phone, using the camera of the mobile phone. And this picture is processed by the phone. That's what happens when the picture is being analyzed. After a few minutes, you get to have the results displayed. That is the red blood cell count, the normal cell count, the sickle cell count, and then the status. There is also a possibility of sharing the results with other doctors, just in case the person carrying out the test is not sure of the result. We believe that when you have this solution out there, Uganda has over 3,000 health centers. We have a dream of putting this solution out there to at least the lowest level of health center three, most of what uh, we usually call it KCCA health centers. What would happen if we had this solution at each of those centers? What would happen if we all knew our sickle cell status and we became more careful when it came to choosing our partners, our marriage partners? You do not know how much your child can fulfill if they live a sickle cell free life. They'll be more vibrant, they won't be limited by weather, they won't be limited by factors like they have to keep dehydrated the whole time. It's, it's healthy for our bodies, but people with sickle cell during the dry seasons take an extra step to keep dehydrated. They spend almost three quarters of their life in emergency rooms because they need regular blood transfusions to maintain their hemoglobin levels. As Afrigal Tech, as technologists, we believe merging technology and existing resources to create solutions with our com to create solutions for our communities can create a better world. We believe we can create a better future for the children to come. We believe we can help children have a more enjoyable childhood because there's no way they're going to paint a memorable childhood when they spend most of their lives at their hospital beds. How, what will they narrate? Because they can't take part in the sports gala. They can't do vigorous exercises. They don't know the excitement that comes with it. We believe that if we're using technologies for Microsoft and working hand in hand with the existing sickle cell associations in the country, we can get more awareness about sickle cell. And if you and I take a step to find out our sickle cell status, we can be able to create a sickle cell regeneration. Thank you very much.